If the bomber squadrons of the RAF are going to play a decisive part in winning the war, the fighter squadrons have already achieved eternal fame by their dauntless bravery in the months of the Empire's greatest danger. The Hurricane's just a great aeroplane. It's not easy to fly a Mark I Hurricane. You've got to know what you're doing. One of the greatest British aircraft of the Second World War, the Hawker Hurricane was the first eight-gun fighter monoplane to enter service with the Royal Air Force. Powered by a powerful V-12 Carburetta Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, it was built by the Hawker Company mainly in their Langley factory in Berkshire, with the first model appearing in 1936. Following the fall of France in 1940, Britain stood alone against the Nazi threat and only 527 Hurricanes, along with 321 Spitfires, could stop a German invasion. And for aviation historian David Keane, its importance cannot be underestimated. During the Battle of Britain, more German aircraft were destroyed by Hurricanes than all the other defences put together. That's all the other fighters, things like the uh, Bolton Pool Defiant and the Spitfire, of course, uh, but also the anti-aircraft fire. Hurricanes accounted for more German bombers, more German aircraft than all the other defences put together. Absolutely vital, therefore, in the Battle of Britain. Sidney Cam came up with this design, the Hurricane, brilliant, but he designed it with a fairly thick wing, which is, I suppose, the biggest difference between the Hurricane and its more glamorous sister, the Spitfire. Greater drag, which meant that the performance of the aircraft wasn't going to be as great as the Spitfire, but it did mean that it could easily accept the eight Browning machine guns which uh, Cam gave it and which made it a very formidable fighter. The Hawker Hurricane was a truly remarkable aircraft. Entering service with the RAF in 1937, over 15,000 were produced by 1944. Its tubular metal frame was covered in Irish linen. German bullets could pass through it and the plane could live to fight another day. It was the first RAF fighter to shoot down a Luftwaffe plane in October 1939. And during the Battle of Britain, it shot down over 1,500 enemy aircraft. That's over 60% of the total German planes destroyed. The armament for both the Hurricane and the Spitfire was the Browning 303 machine gun. That was actually originally a Colt gun, an uh, American design, but virtually totally redesigned and recalibrated to .303. Simple reason for that was that there were millions and millions of 303 shells left over from the First World War. The standard British Army rifle, the short magazine Lee Enfield, took the .303 bullet. All these bullets there meant that they needed guns to fit them. So the Browning machine gun was a .303 calibre, not the .5, which would have given it much greater hitting power. And it is a simple machine gun, not a cannon. There was nothing could stand up to eight machine guns firing a thousand rounds a minute on each one. And there wasn't much that would stand up to that. Eric Carter flew Hurricanes with the RAF's 81 Squadron, a top-secret unit sent to Russia by Churchill to aid Stalin. Flying over the Eastern Front, he would come up against Germany's most fearsome fighter, the Messerschmitt Bf 109. I do remember going into the first fight. I remember saying to myself, I've got my finger on the button, firing button. Only one was going to come out of this fight, and it was going to be me. You could outmanoeuvre a 109, tight turns. That was your only getaway, and get into cloud or something. How magnificently those hurricanes swept the air. How gloriously those few airmen rose to their immortal destiny. During the war, the Hurricane adapted to various roles, fighter, fighter-bomber and tank buster. And by 1944, later versions could fly at 340 miles per hour, reach an altitude of 35,000 feet and achieve a range of almost 500 miles. 
It proved so vital to the RAF, it flew in 17 different theatres of war, from Malta to Burma. It truly was the workhorse of the Second World War and is held in much affection by the men who flew her. I would say it was a wonderful aircraft. Yes, it was a joy to fly. You didn't have to be such a good pilot. You could get away with a few mistakes and uh, it would forgive you. Undoubtedly, the hurricane is iconic because of its performance in the Battle of Britain. They were the main part of the Air Force at that time, the fighter force, and that alone gives it its place in history. The growing might of the RAF in action. <laughs>